were um, working with Sustrans and um, we contributed to a feasibility study which they were preparing on the strategic objectives of the site um, and we were able to contribute in terms of the buildability and, and viability of this location using our design as a way to test whether you could construct a bridge here. Um, and then since that time Sustrans have carried on promoting this as a strategic objective and we've carried on developing the design and promoting the design because we think it answers a lot of the issues connected with this crossing. The design actually came from a, a, you know, quite, it was almost like an instant idea of creating something that was very finely balanced um, so that you could actually use the back masts to counterbalance the, the opening portion. And that seemed to be something that we were quite surprised hadn't been done before as far as we could see anywhere in the world. So we, yeah, so we started looking at the principles. We had very early conversations which went along the lines of, does this work? <laughs> okay, yeah, I think so. <laughs> and we started looking at it in a lot more detail. And um, the basic principles are is that it's, uh, it's a bascule bridge. So that means you have um, weights in the, uh, in the back mast and those effectively balance the bridge. And what that means is that um, during the opening process, uh, which are opened by big hydraulic rams um, on the front side of the hinges, um, it's um, actually very efficient to, uh, to operate. So it only costs around nine pounds uh, per lift, which actually for the size of bridge, 184 meter span, so it's 92 meter cantilevers, um, is actually, we think, a very efficient, um, a very efficient way of opening the bridge. Um, well, if you look at the uh, Transport for London connecting the capital report and cities in the east and so on, it's predicted that around 50,000 new homes will be provided on the north and south of the Thames in East London over the next uh, 15 to 20 years. And that can't be achieved without um, new connections across. But we see this bridge as being one that actually satisfies an existing need for the people in Rotherhithe and the people particularly in South London to actually have better connections across. And we, we, have, we really see this as a, as a catalyst as well. Uh, there are none at the moment from Tower Bridge right the way through the, to the Dartford Tunnel. Um, and uh, you know, we see that um, you know, there needs to be many, many more bridges um, along this stretch of the river. And hopefully this, as, as Nick has said, will prove that um, it is possible. You know, we're trying to encourage people to have healthier lifestyles, have uh, more enjoyable routes to work and so on. And cycling has to be one of the answers to the, uh, the congestion that we've got. So I don't think we would have wanted to be involved in this in this location had it been a road bridge. Well, we're very pleased to have won the NLA People's Choice Award because we think it's evidence that there is a need for this. Um, what we want is to have something that serves a need and is popular um, because it is serving that need. We have also been consulting with the local authorities on both banks and I think it's fair to say you know, this lands on Southwark land and they're extremely supportive of the idea. They see the benefits for the existing community but also the potential for um, for growth in the area. So um, uh, the, Bre the Brexit thing is obviously going to have um, some degree of, of impact on the willingness of, of people to commit at the moment because there clearly is some uncertainty um, but we still see this as being a, a huge opportunity. Um, uh, there's an absolute real need for a bridge in this location and we're still hoping um, that financiers will find a way to uh, to support the bridge. Yeah, yeah because if, if there are certain things that Britain is known for, I think design is what excellence in design, and also business. And so, a, you know, a good design in this location is going to say an awful lot in terms of those uh, characteristics and, and skills of our country. Mm. So, it, you could say that in some ways, it's more needed now than ever as an expression that we are open to business. It's an expressive design that, that is welcoming to London and expresses the design skills and the business skills of our capital and of our country.